Today, I want to tell you a story, my story as a cyberbully. It's a story that took place a long time ago when I was in middle school. Nowadays, you know how my story would begin. You go for a pleasant walk on the internet, when you turn a corner and suddenly words of anger and hurt explode in your face. My story could have happened on a YouTube video where invariably anodyne conversation lead into bitter exchanges of negative comments. Experiencing trolls, cyber bullies, directly or indirectly, can be disorienting, even threatening. As for our students, those are poor social norms to follow. I believe designing with empathy can help break those bad behaviors. But this was me in grade six, at a time when school photos were still printed out in black and white. Well, technically, the World Wide Web was in year zero, so I didn't really have access to cyberspace. Instead, what I had in my hands was state-of-the-art technology that was available to every French student, and I was using this to bully one of my classmates. It was a typical class. We were bored because we were being lectured at. And so eventually we began a chat room the way countless other students had started chat rooms before us on a regular piece of paper. All my friends wanted to join in, and so soon we were passing around a note where everybody was scribbling a few words. Eventually, the popular girl in the classroom wanted to join in too. And I was all too happy to see that my jokes were getting a bigger audience. I had foolishly expected that she would partake on the fun. Instead, she taught me a life lesson that is still resonating with me today. She wrote this. You are not funny. <laughs> you are being very mean to this girl. You have no idea how she feels. And she was right. I did not know at all. I was trying so hard to be funny. I thought I was funny. But in fact, I had not taken into consideration how the girl was feeling at all. Up until this point, I really stopped to think about how other people were feeling. I lacked empathy. Many negative comments that you read online often derive from an original attempt at humor, and then turn abusive in a one-upmanship. In a few words, my classmate had brought to light a new skill that I needed. I believe design thinking is a better, more methodical approach to teach our students how to empathize. If it's the first time you hear about design thinking, you may be smelling of Swedish meatballs right now. But it's hardly a novelty. In fact, design thinking, as my friend Matt reminded me, is a process that engineers have used for a long time. Design thinking yields creative ways to find solution to human-centered problems. There are various stages in design thinking, but I like to retain three. Inquiry, ideation, and implementation. And the most valuable phase in the inquiry stage is to define the problem from the point of view of the user, from the point of view of another person. Before you start looking for a solution for that person, you have to open your eyes to how they see the world. It's during this beginning phase that students have to see the world and the needs of the user. And even if we don't start to analyze the process, we often recognize good design in the way it's being empathetic to the needs of the user. When students are taking through the design process, they're practicing empathy in a very real context. They have to put their own self away 
in order to take into consideration the needs of another person. And when you allow yourself to see the world from somebody else's perspective, you are learning a positive behavior that in turn can help break negative reinforcement cycles, such as cyberbullying, like it did for me. In fact, empathy will also set you on a path to build deeper, more meaningful relationship with other human beings. And as you probably know already, this is a strong predictor of happiness. I was very lucky that my words in grade six were not recorded in cyberspace, where all of you could still find them today. I want to thank my friend, my classmate, who in her frank, honest way taught me how to become a better person. And I want to challenge you today to teach your students how to empathize so they too can become better people. Thank you.